Welcome to Hamer Reviews, my name is Christopher Hamer and today we're going to be reviewing the Joby Wavo Plus. It is a shotgun microphone designed to improve the audio quality for vloggers and other filmmakers and do so in an easy way with a small package that isn't going to take up too much room or be too heavy on your camera. I would argue that this is perfect for the latest Sony vlogging camera, the Sony ZV-E1, or indeed something like the Nikon Z30 or the Sony A6400 or the Canon EOS, maybe the, I'm trying to work out if they have a vlogging camera. I'm not sure what Canon has in terms of vlogging cameras. The M50, probably the M50. Anyhow, the point is this is a shotgun microphone designed for creators and it 189 pounds. It isn't the cheapest mic out there, but it is one of the better sounding. As a result, I have really enjoyed using the Joby Wavo Plus over the last three or four weeks, and this review is gonna recount some of my experiences with it, and also give you an opportunity to have a listen to it in a variety of different circumstances um, in this studio, but different ways of using it, which you might not have thought of. Now, if you've subscribed to my channel, you will know that I've reviewed some other Joby products in the past, <laughs> some of which you'll see in this video, but I usually use a wireless lav mic kit and record my audio with a lav mic. That's because I always find getting the microphone as close to the person you're recording as possible is always gonna improve your audio. And in my case, using a lav mic is just fairly simple and it has worked really well. Especially as I've had a really noisy um, light that I've been using for the past year and a bit. And um, turns out that was faulty, but finally got that fixed. Um, but anyway, as a result, the lav mic being a bit further away from the lights has always been a good setup. This, however, is a really different thing for me because although I've always had a couple of um, shotgun mics, I've never really used them a huge amount, but this has some really cool features and I'd like to talk you through them um, before we get into the sort of audio samples and use cases. So first off, as I've mentioned, this is really, really small and I love the size because it means small and light, it's not gonna be too big and bulky on your camera, it's not too in your face, but it's still big enough to get decent high quality audio. It comes with a wind deflector, so reduce wind noise when you're recording um, audio, and that's really good to see, and there you can see the actual microphone itself. Now on the back, we have um, a power button, which if I hold, switches the uh, microphone on. On the front, we have a green status LED. That shows us that our battery is above 30% and up to 100%. Now, if it were between 30 and 10%, it would go yellow. And if it were below 10%, it would go red. Now, because this has 30 hours of battery life, um, even when you have that red warning, you know you still have a good amount of time to um, use the mic before it runs out of charge, but it is a good reminder to go and get it charged. And to do so, you have a USB-C port. Love to see them. Um, and in this case, it'll charge pretty quickly by USB-C and you can get going again. Now, the red dial on the back is also a volume dial. Now, it doesn't change the volume of the recording, but instead allows you to change the volume on the headphones for monitoring this mic because this has a dedicated headphone output on the side here, which is also wonderful. Now, now we have this side view, you can also see we have a switch to change the sensitivity of the microphone. You have um, minus 10 decibels and plus 15 decibels or just zero, i.e. the standard output. And on the back, we have two more switches. Now the switch below, uh, or rather on the other side, now the switch below um, is your standard uh, low pass filter. That's gonna ensure that you're not picking up too much uh, unnecessary uh, noise on frequencies that you wouldn't be really recording someone on. And the one above it is a really cool feature, especially for people that are either one person uh, camera operators and audio op operators or vloggers. And that is the Joby Safe Track feature. And what that will do is it will record the standard audio track on the um, left hand uh, output but it will record a safe track that is 10 decibels lower in terms of volume on the right hand track. And that just means if you're in an environment, say that, or you just have an interviewee that's, that speaks quietly for a moment and then gets really loud, it will compensate for that with the safe track. So you can always go and use the safe track that's a bit quieter and you don't blow out your audio and you can't you know, hear it or use it. It's a really clever feature and I think it's a, a nice thing that they've implemented. 
Last but not least, on the back you also have your output for your camera, um, which you obviously plug in to get the audio from this. So it is a really nice um, package. It's nice and small, it's nice and light. It comes with your, your standard audio cables, you get your TRS, TRS cable, and you get TRRS to uh, TRS cable, basically one's for smartphones, one for, one's for your camera. So uh, pretty standard setup. You also get a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB-C cable. So you can charge it regardless of what charger you have. All comes in this nice nifty, rather small box to be fair, um, which is no bad thing. But let's be honest. Um, it's only gonna be as good as, as it sounds. And at the moment I haven't let you hear it. So let's do a quick setup where you can actually see the audio um, and I'll talk you through what the audio quality is like and you can be the own judge of that. So if you imagine you're a creator using a Nikon Z50 and the 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, this would be your setup with the Joby Wavo Air. I have it mounted on tripod so you can see the exact setup that I'm using. And I'm gonna switch from the audio through my lav mic, which is the Sennheiser XSWD kit, to the Joby Wavo Plus um, shotgun mic, so you can decide which you prefer. Now, in my case, I do think that the Wavo Plus provides a really nice full sound, and I really enjoyed using that in various um, recordings for videos that are upcoming, so you might be able to tell the difference, potentially, if you're listening very closely in future videos. But it's a really easy, really small setup. Um, one thing I didn't mention was obviously it's on a Rycote style, um, or Rycote technology um, mount as well, so it's gonna reduce the vibration. So even if you were holding that on a gimbal, um, you wouldn't get any uh, vibrations coming through the microphone. It's just a really clean, nice sound. It just sounds really good. I really enjoyed um, using it as well because because it's so light and so small and it's just easily mounted on your camera. You, it's kind of like fit and forget to a certain extent. It's on there, you switch it on, it just works. Um, Joby says they also have this sort of smart standby mode where it intelligently works out whether you're recording audio or not and sort of can go into a basic sleep mode when needed to conserve battery life. It's a really nice feature. Um, I never found it didn't record the audio when I was expecting it to. I'm not entirely sure how they're doing it, but it's really cool that they've managed to implement that. So this is the, the direct audio that you're gonna get from the, the Joby Wavo Plus. It's about a meter away from me. And with any microphone, the closer you can get it to your subject, the better the audio is gonna be, generally speaking. So I wouldn't necessarily want to use it mounted on my Z62, which is just over two meters from me at the moment, maybe two and a half. I'd want it to be as close as possible, but Sometimes, as I say, you wouldn't have that opportunity because the Z6 II, as I said, is a good two meters away from you. So how are you gonna get around that? Well, there is actually a solution and that is to use a wireless lav kit like the Joby Wavo Air in order to bring that shotgun a bit closer. And this is the, that kind of use case where if you've acquired various audio kit over the years, you're gonna have some of this lying around or you may be using it and it'll allow you to take on some more creative setups without a huge amount of additional expense. So let's have a look at this. If I wanted to mount the, the microphone here, how we'd do that with the um, Joby Wavo Air Kit. So the setup's now complete. We now have the Joby Wavo Plus right in front of me recording audio from about 30 centimeters away. And on the camera, we've mounted the Joby Wavo Air receiver and we've mounted a Joby 8 Wavo Air transmitter um, to the Wavo Plus. And as a result, we now have a shotgun mic that we can move around our subject without having to be directly attached to the camera. So you could use this Joby kit and it could be one holistic Joby setup. Um, I really did only use this by chance. I didn't realize it was a Joby mini, mini tripod. This is not sponsored, um, though they did send me the um, the mics for review. Um, but you could be using something like the Sennheiser XSWD. So you could easily plug um, your shotgun mic into this, or you could use a Rode Video Mic uh, Go or the Video Mic Go 2. There are really easy setups that you can use this kit for, and it's a really nice way of enhancing the way you shoot interviews or the way you record audio at a, an event. It just gives you more flexibility. And as I say, the closer you can get a microphone, the better. And in this case, I don't think I could get the shotgun much closer, um, bar sort of having it right in front of my face. Now, what this will also give you is an idea of what the audio is like if you were to record it really close to you in almost a podcast style setup. So if you record podcasts or you um, 
or even record your own podcast rather than just recording other people's, uh, you could easily use this microphone as well. I do think it sounds really nice. It's a really nice sound and it'll work really well for it. Don't get me wrong, I know £189 isn't cheap. It is a lot of money to spend on audio gear, but for all intents and purposes, audio is more more important in video than the actual video image, because if people can't hear you, then they're not really going to pay attention to the video images either. And to me, that's why it was really important to invest in good audio kit right from the outset. I really enjoyed using the Joby Wavo um, audio kit because I think the price point's really aggressive. The quality of the sound's really good and they're really easy to use too. You know, intelligent shut off and switch on to save battery, super easy uh, changing of the sensitivity. That safe track mode, which could well save a shoot. You know, if you record an interview and you didn't notice that there was suddenly a lot of loud background noise or actually the interview was speaking a lot louder than you were expecting, this will offset that because you will have that 10 decibel quieter track. As such, I really do recommend the Joby Wavo um, Plus. It's a really, really cool shotgun microphone. I think it works really well um, and hopefully it aids your filmmaking or vlogging too. Now, if you have any question about this or any of the other Joby Wavo kit that I've um, reviewed, feel free to pop it in the comment section. If you're using it already, I'd love to know what your experience is like. Um, equally, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do subscribe as it really does help me out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.